We know Toronto's rental market is extremely competitive, but for some renters who thought they'd call this North York house a home, it's been a nightmare, saying they've been scammed and left with nowhere to go. I paid of my first and last month, it's 1300 Well, he said that he liked me, so he gave me a discount, which is 1400 It was $700. Well, we're three people, and he took like 1050 per head. That's how much money these strangers said they paid to rent a room inside the North York home. But none of them are currently living there, saying the man who claimed to be the landlord scammed them and over two dozen others in recent weeks. Our cameras were rolling when this student from Japan arrived to find himself without a place to stay, saying he paid $1,200. We heard the same story time and time again from people, many of them new to the city, including a man who moved here from Calgary who paid $1,400. I came here and I found all these uh, people who are basically, you know, with the same story as mine. You know, they told me they've all been scammed and the guy's nowhere to, nowhere to be found. I start living in this house. And from that day, I see like a bunch of people coming in every time asking for their room. And still, they still show in my room that I'm living there. And they saying that I'm going to leave soon. I'm like, no, I'm not going to leave soon. They say the rental ads were on Kijiji and Facebook. And when they confronted the supposed landlord, he went MIA. We also tried to call him. Sorry, there's no more room to record new messages. His phone was turned off. He is not listed as the owner of the home. Sources say he has been leasing the place since earlier this year. Toronto police were called to the home today after two complaints were filed. They tell City News an investigation has now been launched after a crowd gathered in front of the home said they were victims of a possible rental scam. A rental advocacy group we spoke with says rental frauds involving this many people is rare. We are actually seeing them more and more now uh, because the rental housing market is so hot. Um, there's a lot of people looking for places. Are there safeguards in place to ensure that things like this can be avoided? Uh, not really. Unfortunately, there isn't a lot of regulations of, uh, of, of apartments. Landlords aren't licensed, although they, they do have a new uh, regulatory bylaw that does put certain uh, education and information restrictions on them, which is good. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, unfortunately, uh, anyone can pretend to be a landlord. Though some were able to find shelter elsewhere, others haven't been so lucky. But all are just waiting for answers and hoping they get their money back. You rent actually a place and then you're ready to move in. You have a dream, you have vision, you have stuff to do. You you depend on getting the keys. Some of the people who did arrive here at the home and had nowhere to go, well, they were invited inside by the tenants. It was a viewer who called into our newsroom asking us to look into these concerns. If you have a story you'd like us to look into, here are all the ways you can get in touch with us. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.